Let's try and hit the bullseye by making a custom bow in Minecraft. Let's see how to do that. All right, we found ourselves back in Intellivia once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to add our own custom bow to the game, a highly requested topic, which was actually figured out on my live stream. Link is in the description below if you ever want to catch me live. We do some live Minecraft modding Monday, Wednesday, and Sundays, starting at 1 p.m. UTC, and then at the end, I usually play some Minecraft. So if you want to catch that live, check out my Twitch channel. Link, like I said, in the description below. And I also want to give another thanks, because the actual texture that we're using for the custom bow that we're about to create was done by nano attack so thank you very much nano attack for the custom texture there and let's just start right this is of course a simple item so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy over the mod spawn egg item and making sure that this is now an item and this is going to be the cowpen bow so this is going to be our custom bow of course name is cowpen bow as well and this is going to be a bow item now we are not going to need any of those we only need the item properties here this is almost all that we need to add we also need to add the max stack size of one there you go and then you know the registry object is actually done we don't need to add anything else the main thing that is difficult is going to be done in a new class and that is in the util package we're going to create a new class called the mod item model properties and this is going to have a make bow method, which I'm going to copy over. This is, of course, available in the description below, either in the GitHub repository or in individual gists. And this comes from the item models properties. If I middle mouse button click on this, you can see that there are some things in here. For example, the pulling for the bow or the time for the clock. There are also some other things, angle for the compass. There are some things, there's once again for the crossbow here, the pulling and the pull, uh, also for charge. There's some elytra with a broken property. And the idea here is that once we take a look at the item model JSON file for the bow, you're gonna see that it has some pull and some pulling, well, basically properties in there, which are going to, which are going to change the model depending on those properties. And this is basically what is happening here. So we're registering the pull and the pulling properties for our actual item that we pass in here and to actually do that we have to go to our tutorial mod class and then go to the do client stuff actually because this is a client stuff thing say mod item model properties dot make bow and then we simply say mod items dot bow dot get and now for each bow that we want to make we basically call this method and it adds the properties to this actual item here so that's this is the main thing that well most people just don't know and I also didn't know before I well took about half one and a half hours in the stream to actually figure this out right so now let's go to assets and let's add the actual model item the item model files those are going to be four this is count and bow count and bow pulling zero through two as well let's just add this and the main thing that happens here is inside of the count and bow json file so this is just a normal generated json that's all fine we have a little bit of a different display so that it actually displays as a bow in the hand and in third person and then this is the interesting thing this is the overrides so the over overrides happen when a certain thing happens so this predicate if this is the case so if pulling is one this would be pulling is true then we change to the model outenbow underscore pulling zero and if the pull is you know 65 percent done then we change to the pulling one and if the pulling is done 90 percent then we change to the pulling two model and those models actually are all fairly similar they simply pointed to different textures here and what's very interesting here is that their parent is actually the tutorial mod item countenbow so that's very important that you actually say that the parent of the pulling ones is always the one that basically refers to them so this is the main thing that's interesting here and then let's also add the textures over so once again those are all available in the github repository as well and once again a special thanks to nano attack for actually making this texture it actually is really nice right last but not least let's not forget to add the translation to the en underscore us adjacent file and after having added all of that let's see if it works all right in front of in micro as you can see the bow has been successfully added to the game now let's see if i actually draw there you go it works and we can actually also shoot with it and it works totally fine so as you can see this is how easy it can be to add a bow to minecraft Right, and that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch for some live Minecraft modding every Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.